aerial warfare, this dog fight going on for a couple months now since we put the hummingbird feeder up. They come and there's one or two of them that are very territorial that kind of just hang around and they chase the other ones off. When they come close, that one, see that? Just ran them off, this guy right here. He'll chase the other ones away. Hey, get out of here. My food, go find your own feeder. Kind of a little butthead. Good morning and welcome to Life Lived. Just leaving for work right now. Oh, I got chicken food last night and Hudson forgot to take it out of the truck. So I better take it out of the truck so the chickens have something to eat. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Just on my way to work. I'm on days right now. So this is day number three. We've had one flight so far on, um, it was Friday morning, right when I got there. <clears throat> so one flight to Tucson. So we will see what today brings. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Yesterday we did not have a flight and uh, just sat at work pretty much reading all day. Um, so I didn't record anything more. Today uh, we got a, a tone about 9.30 or so this morning out to Greenlee County Airport, which is about a 15 minute flight to the northeast from Safford. Uh, and now we're here in Tucson at Banner UMC. It's actually quite a bit cooler today. Yesterday was 108. Uh, today I think it's only supposed to be 99 and then tomorrow it's supposed to be really cold. I think the high is only supposed to be like 90. So I guess it's time to get our jackets out. All right, so I got off work just almost an hour ago and uh, today is Tuesday. So I had to stop and pick up Kira from gymnastics afterwards. She didn't get out till eight. So I've been sitting in my truck just reading and hanging out for a little while. She should be almost done. They are in there doing their gymnastics. I don't know if you can actually see her. I don't know where she actually is, but just waiting for old Kira. And then we'll be on our way home. So we just got back from our flight a little while ago and uh, on the way back we fly through the east side of Tucson over some mountains there and yesterday they got a bunch of rain over there in those mountains so all of the creeks and washes and, and there's even a little river down in there that uh, they were flowing pretty good this time of year if it's not raining they don't have water in them so there were some waterfalls that had a lot of water coming over them and one of my crew members took some pictures What'd you think? Pretty cool. Those are some waterfalls that are way up in the hills. Not many people get to see those. So you guys are pretty lucky. So this morning was one of the first mornings that was actually kind of cool. We had um, the temperature dropped quite a bit. I mentioned earlier in the video that it was supposed to this week. And uh, so yesterday, I think it was about 100 degrees. Today, it's only supposed to be like 85. So this morning when uh, we got up and we're starting to get ready for school and work and all that, it was like 62 degrees outside which for people like us in Arizona, that's practically freezing. Our kids went out to take care of pets and animals and cows and chickens and all of that, and they came back. Hudson came back for a sweater, Coco came back for a sweater. When I left for work, I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but Coco had his hoodie on and his hood all put on over his head and tied down real tight over his face because it was freezing out. They used to do that all the time in Louisiana too. It didn't get very cold there. Winter normally lasted about two to three weeks where you'd have overnight lows down into the 30s maybe, uh, maybe into the 20s occasionally. But there was always that first cool morning they would come in and they'd say, it is freezing out there. And we'd check the temperature and it's like 60. And I'd tell them, it's not freezing, you're just not sweating. So I have a little bit of a problem. I have very little self-control when it comes to junk food. Chocolate, ah, I like chocolate. I really like M&Ms. And so at home we don't buy very much junk food because I eat way too much of it. We just try to avoid it. The problem is Halloween is coming. It's what, seven weeks away maybe? At home we're not buying junk food, 
but at work everybody's bringing junk food. There's all this Halloween candy here already and it's a week into September. So I'm sitting here in my office and there's a whole cabinet full of junk food right over there. That's not a good thing. The kids are right, it is freezing. It's about a uh, quarter to seven, starting to get dark, gathering up my stuff, uh, getting ready to go home. And it's chilly out here. It's probably, I mean, you know, it's probably 72, but uh, I could use a sweater right now. Yeah, it's 70 degrees. I feel like a wimp. Just dropped to 68, not as wimpy. Not so bad. Good morning, guys. So this morning, it is like literally freezing. It's 61 degrees. That is so cold. Right? Yeah. Cold? Yes. Where's your sweater? Left it at home. Well, why'd you leave it at home? Because I don't want to carry it all day. Because you don't want to carry it all day. All right. Mm -hmm. I got my sweater. All right, just dropped the kiddo off at school and on my way to work. Last day of work today, so after today I'll have a week off. Those are the fun flights. I think anybody that does life flight, that's what we do it for. The, uh, the it's, it's something incredible landing on a highway. It's quite an adrenaline rush. It's, um, I mean, it's kind of where we use the, the most of our training. There's a lot you're watching out for. There's obstacles. We're flying close to trees. There's, um, they close the highway, but there's, there's cars lined up on both sides watching. So you've got a huge audience. Um, it's quite an adrenaline rush, quite a bit of fun. Morning guys, I am on my way to work for day number eight. Yesterday, uh, the lead pilot texted and asked if I wanted to do one day of work over because the pilot that's coming on today was unavailable today. So I'm on my way to work for day number eight. Wow, what are you guys doing with me? Hello. So today is 9-11. Hope we all remember. The eighth graders, is that right? The eighth graders do a stair climb. So Denise is an eighth grader, so she will be doing the stair climb. But as part of it, we do a flyover of the stadium. In fact, I'm doing four flyovers this morning uh, because there's four different groups doing it. And so for the first flight, Kira and Niley are coming with me. Kira's back there. And uh, then the second flight, Hudson and Coco are coming with me. Adelie's flew with me last year one time and then uh, Denise is actually doing the stair climb so she's not available to go with me for a flight so that's what we got going this morning all of that by the way is as long as we don't get any actual flights yeah. you guys ready yeah all right
that's landed. More like the helicopter. The helicopter. How was it? Fun. What was the best part? Driving over. Driving over? Just the flight. Driving over to the airport? Like from the house? No. Oh. Flying. In general. In general. Good deal. You guys ready? Yeah. What are you guys gonna, gonna do? Fly. You wanna fly? You have to keep your hands how hot, Coco? <laughs> Don't touch it. For those who know Coco, Coco! Don't touch anything. <laughs> For those who know Coco, do not know Coco, he cannot stay still. But you have to. Here we go. Good job, Coco. Keep your hands like that, okay? job so that was two of four flights that i'm going to do over the stadium there um denacy was actually at the walk at that one um and then uh so she's not going to be able to fly and then adelise flew with me uh it's actually been almost a year but she flew fairly recently so that's the reason why only these four got to fly today you guys had fun though huh yeah all right how was it guys All right, I'm done with all the overflights this morning. We'll see if we get any flights this afternoon or not. Uh, this should be my last day of work for a few days. Um, I'm also done with this video, so I'm going to finish editing and upload, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a good week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.